But first, breaking news. Coventry police just wrapped up a news conference about a threat that put the town's high school on lockdown, telling us no weapons were found in the school today. But before those details came to light, a tense afternoon while parents waited outside for hours as police searched the school, students, staff, and their classrooms. Police were called to the school after they became aware of a threat in between classes. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was at the news conference and joins us with the breaking details. Alex? Well, Mike and Shannon, school officials say that this all started around 1145 this morning. Students were passing in between classes when someone was heard saying, quote, he has a gun. Now, the assistant superintendent says that this was first reported by a teacher, then a student, and then another class of students as well. So after this report, the school department administration gathered that info to figure out what exactly was happening here and put the school on a pass restriction, meaning students couldn't pass in between classes. Now, once it was determined a lockdown was needed, Police personnel got on scene and the lockdown began around noon. Coventry police established a perimeter and they set up what's called a unified command with the fire department and school administration. And in this time, parents were finding out from their children that a lockdown was in place, but they hadn't heard from the school. Now I asked how long that took and why there was a delay in getting that info out sooner. Our first priority is to make sure all the kids are in the classrooms with the teachers, nobody's in the hallway, the campus is secure, nobody's coming in or out. But once we do that, we started drafting the email together. And as you can imagine, in a, in a hectic situation, the email evolves a little bit. And, and you, you don't want a situation where you're sending emails to really, really nervous parents one after another in rapid fire. That just makes people more uncertain about how things are being handled. Now, as we told you in our earlier newscast, we, students, staff, classrooms, everything was searched today. They also brought in canine units to also search the school and sniff around for any possible firearms. Again, no weapons were found and also no arrests or citations made today. And we're told that school will go on as normal tomorrow, but perhaps with a bit more police presence on campus. For now, reporting live in Coventry, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.